Well morning guys, Rich here down at NoCal Lobbies in San Jose, California I'll put links in below the video because they have got one of the new Traxxas TRX4s which I believe has just come into the store this morning so let's go and unbox the thing Guys, Rich here. I'm down at Nocal Hobbies in sunny San Jose in California. And this morning we've got the Traxxas TRX4 Mercedes Benz G63 AMG 6x6 unboxing. This is a taste of it, guys. Want to see how we got here? Keep watching. Morning guys, Rich here and welcome to my Traxxas TRX4 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 unboxing. Well, I'm down here today at NoCal Hobbies in San Jose. There's a link to them below this video and they are taking pre-orders for the TRX6 as it's now called on the website. You notice it says TRX4 on the box that was changed on the website after these trucks were in shipment down to places like NorCal. So if you want one of these, and I think you will, because I've had a sneak peek inside the box, so I know what's coming there, guys. Uh, this is based on the proven Traxxas TRX4 platform. Obviously, it's got three axles on here. It's also got three independent locking and unlocking diffs. So I'm guessing we're going to see a few differences on the transmitter to the car. Anyway, just before I open the box, let's have a quick spin around the features on the outside because this thing is feature packed. Just note guys, this doesn't come with a battery and charger. You will need to supply those separately. Just come with the included transmitter, but I do wonder if we're going to see an extra button on there for the uh, third diff on there. 3S ready power system. So I might see how fast it goes on 3S if, you, if we're lucky. Waterproof electronics. High low transmission, so you've got the same two speed gearbox that you've got from the uh, Traxxas TRX4. Whilst the TRX6 has three remote locking differentials, the rear two are paired together, guys, as I found out when I opened the box. Uh, this has got the portal axles, guys, just like the TRX4, but not only that, this has got 2.2 wheels fitted to it. Um, it might not be as maneuverable. Uh, due to the long wheelbase as the TRX4, but that extra wheel that the car's got on there is great. You can away the uh, traction when you're out crawling. And uh, we do have a dual locking rear axles, guys. So you are just going to see the same transmitter as you get with the TRX4, which is going to help simplify things a little bit. 6x6 capability and the all-important factory installed light kit. I've been seeing this online. It looks like you're going to be able to go crawling at night very, very easily with this. It's very powerful indeed. Okay, guys, let's see what we get for our money. Now, fingers crossed, it's the right way up. It's in Richard tradition. Yes, it's actually the right way up for once there, guys. And it's huge. Okay, so what I've got in the box, we've got uh, an air transmitter tucked away in the end of the box here. Now, we'll say straight away, guys. Spoiler alert, well, it says it's got three remote diffs on here, guys. It does refer to the dual locking rear diffs on here, and the transmitter is exactly the same as the TRX41 forwards, brake, reverse on there, etc. Your switch for locking the diffs, guys, is exactly the same with the three positions uh, on the switch on that high low speed button on the transmitter, steering trim, etc. on there. So while it may have the three diffs on there, the rear two are controlled together, looking like that, or it looks like that from the transmitter anyway. Instruction manual with a few stickers on the back, no tools in with it, but you do have spare body clips on there. Anyway, let's get this thing out of the wrapping. It is very well packed, which I think you'll agree in keeping that gorgeous body nice is essential. So guys, what are your first impressions of it? The Traxxas TRX4 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. It's mammoth in size, yet not so much that it's going to look overweirdly on the trail. The downside to that longer wheelbase, guys, it's going to have a longer turning radius, which means very, very technical bits it may struggle with on there. But the extra grip given by the extra set of tyres on the back of the car, guys, is going to mean this should be able to motor over just about anything on there, particularly with that long travel uh, shock kit attached to the car. Anyway, let me get the camera down and have a spin around the car. But post your first impressions of the car away in the comments section below, folks. Okay guys, camera down, and we've got our built-in LED headlights on the front there. The little light bars are just tucked in either side on that. 
but what here first impressions it comes very very well packaged indeed lots of cling film protecting uh, both the gorgeous paint and the uh, chrome bumpers on there we've even got the little side exhaust pipes on the side there guys so it is super super scale somebody mentioned why do they not do a scale interior for uh, trucks like this but well, I do wonder whether that might be an option that they bring out and that roll cage on the back there guys that body is almost so gorgeous that you don't want to go out on the trail and scratch it just check out that road's rear wheels I cannot get a lead I almost can't believe the size of this thing guys just see if there's another Traxxas TRX4 in store that we could compare it to. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, let's have a close up look at the uh, Traxxas TRX6, or if it's full current name, the Traxxas TRX4 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6x6. I've got this now on the 4K camera guys and hopefully the detail is coming out on this then because it is absolutely gorgeous. The level of scale detail is just second to none and there's more on that that I can see uh, from a quick glance underneath the car which I'll show you in just a second. But uh, comment away guys, what are your first thoughts on this? I am thinking actually it does not look bad value for the money at all. Do contact uh, Norcal Habits for uh, their best pricing on this. Link to them, as I say, below. But uh, super, super scale. This one, guys, we've got our LED lights, uh, the LED light bar on the front. They're just tucked away in there, but these look stunningly bright when I've seen it online. LED headlights as well on there. Anyway, guys, let's get that body off and see what we've got inside. And just diving inside guys, we've got our, our wiring connector there, little lighting module on there, wiring all around the inside of the car, looks pretty neat. That is where the length of the car really jumps out you guys with that extra axle in there. The front from here on forwards is pretty much all standard Traxxas TRX4 except, well in fact let's start at the front. Moving on backwards guys, we've got a little battery pipe here. I can tell it's a battery pipe because the slots got in it are for Velcro in order to let you hold a little battery down in the front and there. And moving on back, we've got our steering servo. I'll try and get the spec on that before the end of the video. The motor, one thing I did wonder guys with the extra set of axles on the back of the car was whether we were going to put a different higher torque motor in here. We've still got the, the stock Traxxas 21 turn motor in here. My thought on this guys, this thing will have had hundreds, if not thousands of hours of testing on there. So Traxxas are very unlikely to have put a motor in there that isn't gonna cope, that's gonna overheat, uh, caused by the extra stress of driving the extra axles on there. I hope that makes sense. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that, although I did wonder if they would fit a different one. Moving on back, on the left-hand side, we've got a waterproof receiver box. This is probably one of the most waterproof receiver boxes uh, that I have ever encountered, guys. I have crawled my Traxxas T-Rox 4 for over 10 minutes with this fully submerged in New Jersey. So it's definitely one that uh, keeps the dirt and the grime, and more importantly, the water out. On the right, we have got our 3S capable ESC. And if anyone's wondering what this little box here is, that is where you plug your lighting kit into. This little servo here, for anyone that's not familiar with the TRX4 platform, uh, controls the high and low gear. You've got a two speed gearbox in here, which is that little red button on the transmitter. On the left hand side, these two small servos here, this one controls the locking and unlocking of the front differential. And this one here, guys, controls the locking and unlocking of two differentials. See the two wires on there, guys, leading to the locking diffs for the back. So that does come, uh, as a, so they do operate as a pair on there. So while all three are remotely locking and unlocking, those rear ones function as a pair. Uh, which, thinking about it, I was thinking, why would you have the need to not lock them and unlock them as a pair. I can't see any advantage in being able to change each one individually, but uh, someone out there may well beg to differ. Now we're uh, speaking out front battery tray, guys. The stock battery tray here has two positions. You can fit a smaller battery in the lower part to lower the center of gravity of your traditional bigger pack in the top on there. I'm guessing that this platform here, somebody will come up with something ingenious to squeeze something in there because there is room to potentially fit something at the back there, although most people want to put the weight at the front on the crawlers. You've certainly got options to fit 
something uh, in there should you so wish tartread pattern looks pretty good i will point out guys we got beadlock wheels fitted all round and these are 2.2 tires on air compared to 1.9s for the stock trx4 anyway to best access to the underside to the underside of the car guys i'm going to turn it over obviously because of the uh, lighting now first details that jump out the scale the scale metal plates on here we've got that's plastic but it's got a metal like feel to it both front and rear on here just like the original uh, g63 6x6 has the attention to detail very good we've not just got tailpipe sticking out so we've got the full exhaust underneath the car guys anyway i will pan on down give me your first thoughts on it we've got plastic drive shafts on that, we've got portal axles all round, so you're getting an inch bigger ground clearance uh, than you are doing with a conventional crawler axle. On that, but your thoughts, guys. I'm going to do a uh, suspension test in just a second on it. That's for that ground clearance, guys. That's like nearly fist sized ground clearance on there. That's from the side. Portal axles from the back. Again, just awesome. The portal axles, for anyone who's not aware of them, they give uh, about an inch extra clearance compared to a normal crawler axle. And we can see our little wires coming through, one to this differential and one through the back to this differential. But they're both going to operate as a pair as opposed to individually. And the other wire runs through to the front one there, which is one of the key features on the TRX floor, which makes it so good, is the ability to lock and unlock the differentials. Suspension wise, I think it's time for Richie's ubiquitous suspension test. Okay guys, what are your first thoughts on it? Weight wise, it's not too bad at all. The extra axle, they've not added like a massive amount of weight on there uh, at all. It certainly doesn't feel overwieldy or anything like that. Will the Tyson 21 turn motor cope with that extra weight? I'm sure they have tested this thing to death. It's probably done hundreds, if not thousands of hours of testing on there. So the fact it's still got the same motor as the TRX4 doesn't worry me at all. Traxxas aren't gonna put something out and then the motor be failing because it's getting too warm due to the extra set of axles on there. That's for long travel. Let me get the camera down and let's test it out. Okay guys, it's a little tricky as to how to uh, test this out. I'm gonna put the camera on the end in a minute, but uh, travel on it in terms of articulation well that's pretty darn good if anybody wonders what I'm doing here I'm lifting the uh, the rear the, the rear or the front wheel as high as I can until the corresponding wheel the other end of the car comes off the ground so you've got huge travel I mean that's Probably a good seven inches of travel on the rear there, I would say, and the same on the front. Absolutely outstanding. Now, how much more articulation have we got with this middle axle? You could really do with like running it over something to uh, see on here. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to hold that wheel down, guys. Just see, yeah, we've got a couple of inches on that. But first impressions are, guys, that's it. This thing is going to be a monster on the trail. I think this is going to be just about unstoppable out there. Ah, see, see. You found it? Yeah, probably got good six and a half, maybe seven inches of travel on the rear. And, yep, same again on the front. Six and a half, seven inches of travel on there. Damping wise, well that's very nice. It's just gonna absorb anything going on the trail there, guys. High range of articulation. Okay, the price point on this, guys, I'm guessing it's gonna be around the uh, $600, $630 mark, but do uh, give NorCal Hobbies a call for their best price on this. One thing I do think you should take into account on this truck, you're getting the long travel suspension kit, which is a $200 option on the stock TRX4. You're getting the headlight kit, which is something like a $75 or $100 extra on the stock Traxxas TRX4. The lighting bar is also included on this. Again, that's about $50 on there. So you're getting worth about $350 worth of optional extras feared as stock to the car. But let me know what you think, guys. And I'll be saying in the comment section below. Are you going to be getting one of these? Because yours truly has already got one on order. And I cannot wait. Two weeks. Well, in conclusion, guys, 
I am absolutely sold on their Taxus TRX for Mercedes Benz G63 6x6, or the TRX short, or the TRX 6, as I'm sure it will be called in very short order. Uh, I've ordered mine from NorCal Hobbies. There is a link to them if you want to order yours from there, which I suggest you do. I think they will sell out very fast indeed, because at this price point, you will get an awful lot of truck for your money. You really are, guys, and I think this thing is just going to be just pretty much unstoppable on any trails on there sure the uh, extended wheelbase might make it trickier on some technical sections of the course but my gut feel is this thing is just kind of monster over pretty much any trail out there guys anyway if you like this video then by all means share with friends and if you loved it don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching well thumbs up if you like this video guys post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe and if you do hit the circle don't forget to hit the bell